The trial for the rapper accused of shooting Grammy winner Megan Thee Stallion in the feet. Closing arguments are scheduled to wrap up this morning, and Stephanie Ramos is here with more on the details. Stephanie. Good morning. This case has gotten so much attention on social media, in the hip hop community as well, creating a storm around this trial for the last three years. The lawyer for Megan Thee Stallion's former friend, rapper Tory Lanez, isn't denying she was shot, but says their client isn't the one responsible. This morning, closing arguments continue in the blockbuster trial involving rap star Megan Thee Stallion against fellow rapper Tory Lanez, who prosecutors say shot at Stallion's feet after a party in the summer of 2020. There's no doubt that a crime occurred. There's 911 call that has gunshots going off. There's bullets recovered from her foot. It's neither a what happened nor a who done it. In court Wednesday, the judge asked if Lanes wanted to testify. He said no. Earlier in the week, a witness called by the defense, Sean Kelly, testified that he saw Megan and her then assistant, Kelsey Harris, fighting each other outside of a vehicle, adding that a man fitting the description of Lanes's driver left the vehicle to try to separate the two women. Kelly says he saw flashes coming from the women, but that he also also saw a muzzle flash about the same time Lanes got out of the car. He also claimed Megan was curled up in the fetal position as the three beat her. Anytime there's confusion about the facts and what happened in a criminal case, that bodes well typically for the defendant. Last week, the three-time Grammy winner provided emotional testimony against Lanes, describing how she got into a heated argument with her fellow rapper and former friend, saying he was holding the gun pointed at me and claiming Lanes ordered her to dance before firing, injuring her feet. However, Lanes' attorney disputing that his client fired the weapon, the rapper's former assistant and friend Harris took the stand last week. Prosecutors showed a text message that read, help, Tory shot Meg, 911. But Harris says she did not know why she wrote that since she did not see anything happen. Meanwhile, the recipient of that text, Megan's bodyguard, has gone missing right before he was set to testify. The bodyguard was called as a part of the prosecution's case. I think the prosecution was absolutely frustrated. Body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. The 27-year-old superstar has faced backlash from some members of the hip-hop community. Drake appeared to accuse her of lying about the shooting in a recent song. But supporters of the star, including Congresswoman Maxine Waters, says this is a clear example of why black women need to be believed when they tell their stories. She's a human being, and um, this is a complicated thing for a young person who's a superstar to go through. Megan the Stallion's lawyer says once there is a verdict, it won't be the end of this. He says they are exploring all legal options regarding bloggers who have posted misinformation. It is quite a case. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.